Hey y'all. Uh, all right, it's April the twenty first, two thousand and sixteen. All right, and I'm forced. I've been forced to make a follow follow up video. All right. Uh, just recently, I believe it was yesterday, I made a video um, regarding Santee High School, which I never heard of before. Obviously, they were having a deal with a, a all gender inclusive bathroom that led to a major brawl and melee, from what it looked like. I made a video about him. I said, you know, listen, I, I don't, I don't think, you know, that I didn't think it was very productive. From what I seen, it didn't look all too productive. What had happened there? All right. See, this is a danger of uh, YouTube, but it's also a good thing about YouTube in the way that people like me, for example, I'm quite simple. Um, I could be a reporter of sorts. And when things happen, it's it, like as soon as it happens, I can jump on that stuff, man. I can say, hey, look, look at this. And this is what my opinion is on it. All right. But at the same time, you know, uh, I, I acknowledge all the time I'm not perfect, all right? Sometimes not a lot of evidence is given, and I just have to go off the evidence that I do have, all right? And then what I do is, you know, I wait and see if more evidence comes. And, you know, if evidence does come and it kind of it, it contradicts what I said, well, then I got to... Uh, I gotta grow as a person, and I gotta change my perspective, and I gotta tell you what's really the business, all right? That all being said, like I said, showed you that video, you seen that video, I got a number of comments on it, which I appreciate, all right, from both sides. However, there was a, a Mr. Charlie Alvarez, shout out to Charlie Alvarez, all right, he sent me a, a new video, and if you're on the other video, you've seen his comment in, in the comment box, uh, thank you, thank you for that. All right, and as it turns out, um, there's more to that video than I previously thought, and of course, of course, there's more footage. All right, so Charlie Alvarez, he found that footage and gave it to me. And I said, yes, yes, sir, I'll take that, and I watched it. It's about 11 minutes long. Of course, there's a link down at the bottom. And as it turns out, see, here's here's what, where my hesitation was. I've seen a number of videos where people are doing certain protests and, uh, you know, say non-Christian protests and Christian protests alike, where they, they aren't exactly articulate. And I can't blame them for that because I'm not very articulate sometimes. Sometimes, you know, uh, I, I, can't, I don't speak very well. Okay? Uh, so, you know, I was assuming that maybe this is what had happened during this particular situation. And no, that's not what happened. Uh, this preacher right here. Shame on you, Principal Gomez! You nasty bastard! You nasty pervert! You're gonna burn in hell! You sick dog! You're worse than a dog! Way too much Oprah! Way too much Ellen for you! This is the Radical Reverend. We're at Santee Education Complex, home of the Falcons, and we're here to rebuke this high school. Obviously, perverts have uh, infiltrated this public education district. Uh, Martin Gomez, he's uh, obviously lost his mind. You couldn't tell a dog how to live, Gomez! You couldn't tell a dog how to live! Shame on you for birthing these children! Jesus Christ said it'd be better for you to tie a millstone around your neck Amen. and be cast into the sea than for you to offend one of these little ones. You have offended an entire generation of children. This preacher right here, he, he could spit some hot fire, and that's what he did. He was spitting all sort of mad, mad hot fire, and that's what he was doing. He was actually very good at it. You're a sick pervert, and you're going to burn in hell. First Corinthians 6, 9 says, The unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. He was spitting that hot fire. All right, uh, case closed and a discussion. All right. Now here's the thing. I know a lot of y'all, y'all might, there might be a lot of folks out there that say, you know, shoot, he took it, he took it a little overboard. All right, uh, and, and I can see where you, you 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 might say that. All right, you might say, well, maybe his his intercom megaphone thing was a little bit too loud. I'll agree, it was kind of loud. It was kind of loud. All right, but then again, this recording, uh, the guy recording was standing pretty close to the to the megaphone thing, so maybe that's why it was kind of loud. If you were across the street. Uh, chances are it probably wasn't as loud, all right? But you got to understand that this preacher is making a lot of sense in that this is a very, very serious situation. And of course, the children, children in this high school have been misled, all right? They're being very seriously misled right now, and they've been being misled for many, many years now. And this is, this is a very big step that you're taking as far as you, you just, anybody's any gender, and, and they could be any sex and do whatever they want. And, and so seeing as it was a big step, this preacher right here, the Bible says, unless a man is born again, he will not inherit the kingdom of God. God does not accept you the way you are. God does not accept you as a transgender. God does not accept you as a porn-watching pervert. God does not accept you as a pill-popping dog. God will not accept you the way that you are. You have to change. The Bible says, Jesus Christ says, unless you repent, you shall all likewise perish. That picture right there, he has
got something to say about it. And I got, I mean, you have to admit, no matter if you like him or not, uh, he, he's a very good speaker, and he was making mad sense. Now you might say, okay, well, he's hate, he's hating on all these children. He's he's shouting hateful things to him. First of all, he, he never cussed. All right, that's not cussing, all right? So uh, it might sound hateful to certain people. And so they, they, they say, well, that... The Bible says hell has enlarged itself, and hell is going to open its mouth to receive all of you rebels for the devil. You dishonor your parents, you disrespect your parents, you do what your parents tell you not to do, and you don't do what God commands you to do. God commands you to repent. God commands you to live holy. God commands you not to be a transgender, you sick, twisted pervert. They say that is hateful right there. All right, so that shouldn't be pr protected under free speech. That's exactly actually what should be protected under free speech. You might say, well, that's hate speech. Yeah, hate speech is protected under free speech. I'm not the first person to say it. I'm probably not the millionth person to say it. Uh, hate speech really is the only speech that you need to be concerned about protecting. I mean, if it was speech that every single person loved, then you wouldn't have to protect it at all, would you? All right, so the First Amendment really does specifically protect what he's saying. You need to get born again. You've been a rebel for far too long. Jesus Christ came to call the sinners to repentance, not the righteous. If you're living in sin, you need to repent. Where is your pervert principle? All right. It's not like he was out there for weeks just uh, uh, pestering children and stuff like that. He was out there one day for the first day. And he, and he was saying basically exactly what's said in the Bible. All right. And the thing is about it is you can go ahead and debate that fella. And hell, you could even ignore that fella. If that's what you wanted to do. But see what took place. The melee that took place, all the shouting that you're here. You have rebelled against God. You have rebelled against your parents. The Bible says, honor your father and mother. Honor your father and mother. You have turned your back and plugged your ears to the voice of God. You have blinded your eyes to truth. You have blinded your eyes to the truth. And you've plugged your ears to the voice of God. You're going to burn in hell, Falcons. Santee Education. You're going to burn in hell, Santee. Oh, yes. Hell has enlarged itself. The Bible says hell is never full. shouting and bickering and stuff at him here's here's what i want to explain to you for all y'all who are just kind of getting an awareness of things that are written in the bible here's what i want to explain to you i know it might seem outrageous what i'm telling you right now i know it may seem fantastical what i'm telling you right now but please hear me when i say that what this preacher was doing successfully was drawing out demons from these children you might say demons don't exist they're a fantasy thing now check this out they're not a fantasy thing demons uh kind of all around us and any one of us are susceptible to them if we just open the door and let them in open the bathroom door proverbially speaking all right they can creep on in if you open the door and so what he did is he threw that door wide open and he started it's yelling out righteousness and what it did was it drew out demons you gotta understand that all these children weren't um transgender all these children were not homosexuals i mean uh, a lot of what he was saying didn't even apply to all these children however all these children who could not ignore what he was saying their demons started rising up out of them and what that what that created was a violent uh firestorm around the preacher all right a good preacher will be able to make that happen he will be able to draw out the demons that's what he did all right that's what you're seeing is demons uh, running wild, running roughshod all over the place, causing all sorts of uh, calamity. All right. And lastly, you know, uh, just to wrap this up, uh, a lot of people are, are frowning upon, you know, things that they see coming from the police. Trust me, there's a lot of things that you could uh, frown on about the police. There's many, many different things that you could say, oh, this police person did this, this police person did that, all sort of brutality. But I do want to give props out to that one police officer uh, who showed up. He showed up uh, pretty quick on the scene. Martin Gomez, you sick dog! You're allowing these sick, confused children to dictate the law! You're allowing these children to tell you how to live! The Bible talks about children are the oppressors of the people! And women rule. And women have taken prayer out of school. Women have taken the Ten Commandments out of school. And now women are destroying your children. Yes, you are a bunch of rebels for the devil. And uh, it's pretty obvious that stuff was a brewing. That demons were being all pumped up. So he showed up knowing that a violent uh, riot might ensue. Get that nigga! Get that nigga! And he did not, I repeat, did not 
step all over the preacher and his first amendment. I think everybody should have to recognize that right now. All right, that's called the Constitution. He upheld it. All right, and when calamity did break out, he tried his best to, uh, you know, go ahead and handle the situation the way a police officer should. <laughs> And so shout out to that police officer. He did his job. That preacher did his job. That big old seven foot tall uh, security guard was sure doing his job. And somebody had to speak out. All right. Just like I'm speaking out on the internet. That's actually nothing compared to what this preacher was doing. So shout out to him. Uh, of course, I left the link. I need you to go see that link. Here's the thing about it. You might still be disagreeing with him. You might be disagreeing with me. But check this out. Try debating us. Try peacefully debating us and see if your emotions don't get all charged up. See if demons don't start spilling up out of your eyeballs. I want you to see if you could do that. All right, anyway, anyways, this is April the 21st, 2016. And here's the thing about it. Uh, let me let me finish it with this, all right? Here's the thing. Um, for all, all the folks out there who, who are LGBTQIAPQRS, for all the transgender folks out there, for all the people who don't know if they're boys or girls and stuff, we're not trying to lynch you. Nobody's out, I mean, except for, like, wild, crazy a-holes, nobody's trying to beat you up and stuff. Nobody's trying to burn down your house. Uh, if you ever hear a victim, you're a victim to a wild, crazy person who physically tries to harm you, all right? And by our laws and our society, that isn't acceptable. If I hear of, uh, you know, a, a person wanting to beat up a person for being a homosexual and, you know, assaulting them on the streets, like that one dude, that, uh, that Mr. Gaines, knocking him out on the street, leaving there in the street to get ran over and he died. That's the shit that I don't like. You need to go to jail for that, all right? However, if what you're going to do is try to forcibly change society, a society that quite honestly had a covenant with God, at one point, does not anymore. It's, it's pretty much losing all that. If what you're going to try and do is force your agenda, like a socialist, like a communist, on everybody else, well, guess what? There's equal and opposite reactions. All right? Before you, you try to install a, a, unis, a, a, a universal gender bathroom, before you did that, you did not have a preacher in your face shouting at your face. All right? Simply because you had your feelings hurt or whatever, because your feelings were hurt because you couldn't pee wherever you wanted to. You understand how ridiculous that sounds? Just because you could not pee wherever you wanted to, now you got to change the rules for everybody. You see, you brought that on yourself. Like I said, equal and opposite reaction. You got your reaction. Was a man telling you the truth to your face on a megaphone? You're gonna burn! You're gonna burn! You're gonna burn, burn, burn! In the everlasting wake up fire! And then subsequently, all your demons were released. And that's what, that was what's shown on the dang video. Anyways, I'm out. I'm hollering at y'all. Alright? I hope this is a learning experience for y'all. Debates are key. Uh, if you if you really want to change people's feelings, uh, you might try debating them. Of course, demons will not allow you to debate. Understand that.